Hi, you guys. It is Saturday, April 3rd, 2021. Good morning. I just wanted to share something with you, some skill sets. I've, I've worked a lot with people this week, having a lot of issues with both anxiety and depression. And one of the things that happens a lot is we get stuck in negative thoughts or automatic thoughts and think that we don't have the ability to stop them. Well, I can't just stop a negative thought. That's not, it's true and it's not true. We have the ability to control what things we give attention to and focus to. So while you're not responsible for the thoughts that show up in your head, you are responsible for which ones you give attention to. Just like you're not responsible for how many people might knock on your door, but you are responsible for which ones you open the door to and allow into your house and have over for dinner. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about thought switching, getting out of negative ruminations um, and balloon meditation. Okay, so the first step in getting rid of a negative thought that keeps coming up, whether it's an anxious thought or a depressed thought or an angry thought, is to notice that it's happening. Okay, we wanna notice that it's happening and we want to um, be able to acknowledge that it's there. And then we wanna stop. <laughs> so if I'm having a fearful thought um, about anything, first step is to notice that it's there Acknowledge, oh, that's that fearful thought. Now I'm going to stop it. Stop thinking about that thought. And I'm going to switch my focus to something else. Right? And if you think that you can't, um, I want you to know that you absolutely can. It takes practice. So let me give you an example of how I know that we can do this. Say you're having a really just down day, a sad day. Somebody knocks on your door and says, hey, you just won the lottery. All of a sudden, your thoughts have completely changed, right? You change your thoughts. Now, not everybody's gonna get knocked on the door and be told they won the lottery, but it's just a, a silly example of how that would automatically shift your whole day and your thoughts. So the idea of, um, once the thought is identified, once it's acknowledged, then we need to switch it to something else, switch our focus to something else. We can either counter that negative thought, like for example, um, I used to have a tendency if I made a mistake to, to, to have the automatic negative thought, I'm so stupid. I'm not stupid. Do I make mistakes? Yes. So the first step is noticing that that thought shows up. Second stop is like just acknowledging it. Okay, I had this thought and then countering it. I'm not stupid, I'm smart. I have uh, degrees, <laughs> I problem solve, right? Um, I can read. There are so many things that make me a smart person. Um, do I make mistakes? Yes. Does making a mistake mean you're stupid? No, it does not. Stupid is an insult. Um, and so we don't want to insult ourselves. So the idea with balloon meditation starts with the idea that we are not responsible for the thoughts that show up in our head. Okay. Just like we are not responsible for the clouds that appear in the sky. I did not go out and put the clouds in the sky this morning. They were just there. They just showed up. They show up every single day and I don't have anything to do with it. In that same way, thoughts show up in my head. They might be negative thoughts. They might be joyful thoughts. They might be neutral thoughts. They might be angry thoughts, but I'm not responsible for the thoughts that show up in my head. Um, I am responsible to which ones I give attention to and which ones I choose to focus on. So I could think, oh, I made a mistake. I'm so stupid. And I could just beat myself up on it and, and think about it over and over and over again, or I could stop notice it and switch my thoughts to something else. So with balloon meditation, what I recommend people do is picture all of the hundreds of thoughts that show up in your head 
<clears throat> maybe there's only 10 thoughts if it's a slow day. Maybe if it's a busy day, there's like a thousand thoughts in your head. Picture them all as if they're attached to you. Each thought is in its own little single balloon attached to you by a string. And they're just kind of floating up there. If you have a negative thought, pull that thought down and look at it. Okay, negative thought, I see you. I see this thought that I'm stupid, or I see this thought that I can't do this thing that I'm trying to do, or, you know, nothing ever worked out for me, or whatever it is. I see you. And then I stop and think, is this thought helpful to me or is it not helpful? Well, those kind of negative thoughts aren't particularly helpful. If they don't lead you to problem solving, then they're not helping. If they just lead you to feeling bad and sad, they're not helpful. So I'm gonna take that string, I'm gonna untie it. I'm gonna let it float away. And watch it fly off, get carried away by the wind. And I'm gonna pull down instead a positive thought. Find my joyful, happy balloon. Maybe it's um, blue and silver or rainbow or flower shaped or whatever it is, sunshiny. And I'm gonna focus on a positive thought. I am strong. I am capable. I have a 100% success rate of overcoming all my bad days. And I'm gonna just concentrate on that joyful thought, that joyful thought balloon until I am calm and happy again. If, and if you know I need to pull down a couple more balloons, then I'll pull down a couple of more balloons and I'll bring all the positive joyful balloons to me and focus on them. Until I just feel it lift my heart. Then I can take a deep breath and go on with my day. Now, later on that day, that balloon thought might, sh that negative one that I let go might show up again in a different balloon or in a different form or a different negative balloon may show up. That's fine. I'll pull it down, look at it, ask it the important question. Is this helpful to me? Or is it not helpful? It doesn't lead me to problem solve or improve myself in some way, then it's not helpful. I need to let it go. I will let it go. And I will pull down a joyful, positive, helpful balloon. So that's just a short little example of something that you can do um, for yourself real quickly throughout the day um, that is a positive meditation, a way to do thought switching, and a way to keep your brain focused on positive and good things. So I hope that's helpful for you. If you have anything that you want me to talk about or any particular type of meditation you want to learn, if I know it, I'll be happy to share it with you. And I hope you guys have an awesome week. For those of you that celebrate Easter, happy Easter. Take care. Thank you. Bye.